Okay, I'm at the Grange Residents Association annual meeting tonight, um, but it's also been the launch of the Skylark Community Association. That's the community association that will be running the new community centre that we're building in the area. Rita, tell me all about it. What was the campaign like? Very hard. How many years? 20 years. <laughs> the council knocked down the old community centre. The new one, though, that we've secured it will be a modern design. What do you think of it? Very good. Who be up and running. Who will it be for? For the community of all ages. Excellent. You're pleased? Very pleased, especially <laughs> after the meeting tonight. Okay. Peter, you're the local councillor. Tell me about it. Where's the money come from? Uh, the money basically has come from the sale of the site. The, um, the site is being sold to a developer who's going to uh, build uh, a small development of, I think it's four bungalows and a, a small block of flats, which will fund the, the actual building of the community centre. Um, and it, it's hoped that the community centre will be built by this time next year. It was hoped to have it ready by May um, of 2010, but because of the, the current financial crisis, um, the market is, is slow to pick up, but we believe it's picked up now and we should have a developer working on the site fairly soon. Pat, you've been, you've been elected as the chair of the new community association. It's called the Skylark Community Sorry. Association. Why is that? Um, because of the uh, meadows over the back, um, we're particularly the Skylark Meadow, which is directly behind it, um, to recognise the fact that we do live on the edge of the green belt. Um, and plus we thought it was um, quite an inspirational sort of symbol to have, something that's um, going to go forward and, and upwards, yeah? Well, that's a beautiful name. The building, just tell us about the design of the building. Uh, what sort of scale is it? How many rooms? What sort of hall? That sort of thing. Um, well, there's one large main hall, but there's several rooms, um, both upstairs and downstairs, which can be used. Uh, the idea is that we can have a range of things. There's, there's a, a room that's going to be like a bit like a music studio. Um, we've considered art rooms. We would like to get a computer centre there as well. Um, in essence, everything for the community. There's quite a large hall as well. It's a large hall downstairs, and there is a, a room upstairs which can be, which is, a, which is a large room which can be divided into two. So when it's open late next year, mm, you, community groups will be able to book it, use it for community activities. Yeah, absolutely. And members of the local community for members of the local community. I think the idea would be that um, as the uh, community associ association expands, that we gradually pour, pull in more and more people who live, who live locally, especially a lot of the young people. We're fortunate enough to live in a very diverse community and also which means that we could therefore kind of have develop greater community relations both for old and young and across the, the full spectrum of the, the people that make up the community that we live in. No, I think it's going to be a real success. Thanks for volunteering to be the chair. Peter, thanks for all your hard work and Rita, just thanks for your endurance over 20 years. Do you think it will be a success? Very. How successful is it? Do you think people will flock to it now? Definitely. Okay, we want people to get involved in the Residents Association, obviously, yes. and the Community Association. So yes. if they want to participate, they need to come along to some of our meetings, which will be advertised locally through letters and leaflets and also through our different websites. Well done, you three, for all the hard work that you've put in. This is a real community achievement. And can we thank you also and our councillors? Thanks, Rita.